Custom shirt tags, what better way to promote your brand than with custom shirt tags? There's one problem though. Certain information is required to be on the tag and the tag tends to be quite small. So exactly how small can you print with DTF? First, if you're buying transfers, that company will likely have a limitation to how small you can print. So follow their guidelines. If you wanna try this test on your own printer, you can download this graphic from our website and see just how small your printer can print. I'm going to test this with our Mamaki TXF300. I'm creating both black and white graphics. The line at the beginning of the text line starts at exactly 11 pixels wide and goes all the way down to one pixel wide. I've also included a dot that is the same pixel count squared. And then the accompanying text is the same font size as the line. Then over to the right, I've created some patterns to test size and spacing. The grids are one pixel separated by one pixel, then separated by two, three, four, and five. Then the next set is five pixel squares separated by one pixel, then two, three, four, and five. Last in that group is a 10 pixel square separated by one, two, three, four, and five pixels. The checkerboard patterns are one, two, three, and four pixel squares with spacing of one, three, five, seven, 2468 and 3579, you get the picture. Finally, I've drawn a few lines. The first is one pixel separated by one pixel repeating, then one pixel and two pixels separated by one pixel repeating, and then one pixel and then three pixels separated by one pixel. Finally, we have three pixel squares separated by one, two, three, and four pixels. Looking at the back side of the film, it's obvious that a one pixel separation doesn't really work, even though a one pixel dot does print. You get okay separation at two pixels, but I would say for decent separation, it's pointless to do anything smaller than three pixels. Starting with the text, the white actually looks good, even at one pixel. I can see the line and the dot, and the text is mostly legible at four point font, but honestly, I doubt it would have much durability since you can see the weave of the garment is actually wider than one pixel. I'm losing the top of the H a bit, but at eight point font, they're totally legible. The smallest black is much less legible than the white. Eight point Gotham font is still a little rough in black, but by the time we hit 11 point font, it's looking pretty good. Looking at the patterns, everything that's less than three pixels is basically useless. And like we saw before, separation less than three pixels blends together. So what are some conclusions we can draw from this test? Well, number one, you can print really small with DTF. Number two, if you're doing any kind of knockout that softens the feel, it has to be larger than three pixels to have any effect. And the more you do, the better. And number three has to do with half toning. If you choose a frequency that's too high, it can make the half tone dot so small, it's basically pointless. So make sure your frequency is not greater than 35. I hope this video about small print sizes helps big. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe for more expert DTF tips, tricks, and tests.